Welcome to the Joy School Podcast. Real talk about what it takes to create your happiest, healthiest, and most dynamic life. And now, here's your host, transformational life coach, happiness strategist, and best-selling author, Christy Ling Spencer. Well, hello, amazing friends, and welcome back to a brand new season of the Joy School Podcast. I'm Christy Ling Spencer, and I am so happy and grateful that you're back with me. Thank you so much. And if you're just discovering the show, welcome. And I have been so happy to see all of the reviews, the comments on social media, the emails I've received about the show. And what's really funny is that Some people that I never would have expected to tune in have come up to me and said, hey, I've been listening to your podcast. (laughs) That is, that's the best feeling. So I just want to thank everyone for their support. We've hit 35,000 plus downloads for the show and hopefully going to increase that greatly this season. So thanks again for being with me. This is a really cool topic we have today because I think the idea of creating a magical life is something that appeals to pretty much everybody, wouldn't you say? I just love that word. And it's a word that a lot of people don't often use when describing their life. Magical, right? But it's such a great word to describe the kind of life we'd all like to create. We'd all like to create a life that feels magical. It just says so much to me, and it's a word that sparks so much vision and feeling, right? So I like to think of a magical life as a life filled with wonder, intention, love, compassion, and amazing experiences. But what's a magical life for me and for someone else might be a little bit different, but I think there's a lot of things that connect us all universally, like some of the ones I just mentioned. A life filled with beauty, right? An adventure, but on your own terms that you create no matter what your budget is, right? Whether that's camping or glamping in my case. (laughs) I'm not much of a camping person, although I used to be as a kid, but I can do glamping for one or two nights if it's pretty good accommodations because I do love being out in nature. And, you know, for a lot of people, just being in the woods or spending time in nature is part of what makes their life magical, right? I know there is for me. I have some trails pretty close to my house that are so beautiful. And I can walk on those trails and just pretty much be by myself. No one is really there during the week. And the sound of the dirt crunching under my shoes and the smell of the pine trees, I just love it so much. To me, that's magical. Quality time with friends when you have one of those epic nights and you just have the best time. That's magical, right? Or just enjoying the comforts of home filled with people and things that you love. A magical life is a life that includes frequent encounters that move you and dreams that have come true due to hard work, optimism, and perseverance. But I also think it's made up with dreams that haven't quite come true yet because dreaming and having goals is part of what makes us excited about life, right? And feeling excited about life is part of the magic. So a magical life is also created by how you view your life. And we're going to talk about that and some tips to help shift your view to see your life as more magical right now, because I promise you it is. Do you see your life as a miraculous gift and live each day with the determination to make it sparkle? So we're going to talk about that a little bit, along with some tips on some things that you can do to elevate that. Now, for me so long, and I know many of you can relate to this, I was just waking up going through the motions day to day without really thinking much about it. And if this is true for you, I encourage you to make some of the shifts we're going to talk about in today's show. I made some of these shifts along with making over my mornings and applying many of the practices that I teach in my work and completely changed my life. But my life wasn't always magical. It wasn't always what I had envisioned. In fact, I've gone through times in my life where I wasn't happy at all. And years ago, and I have spoken about this on stages and on the podcast before, I actually nearly had a breakdown. I had an anxiety attack. I was in a job that I just wasn't a fit for and wasn't a fit for me. And I was working six, seven days a week and stressed out all the time. And I finally 
ended up with a panic attack at like 4 a.m. one morning with my heart pounding out of my chest. And that was really my body and my soul telling me, you're not living the life you're meant to be living. You are totally out of alignment. You are totally out of sorts. And by the way, you don't want to feel this way anymore. (laughs) And I listened. I knew in that moment that I needed to make big changes. And ever since then, and that was years ago, I have been on a path of always looking out for positive changes that I can make and applying what I know works to my life. And that's really what this podcast is all about. I want to share the things that I know work with as many people as possible. And I just genuinely want to share the things that I know can be helpful to benefit you and anybody else listening and anyone who visits my website or follows me on social and tunes into my work. I'm just all about sharing. Hey, here's what works. And, you know, sometimes I share things that don't work, right? There are a lot of things out there in the personal development world that are total BS, (laughs) if I'm being honest. And in fact, I wrote quite a bit about this in my book, Operation Happiness. I have weeded through so much of that and eliminated it because it doesn't work. And I will call things out from time to time and say, this is crap. (laughs) But you can just know that the things I talk about are things that actually work. And many of them have science behind them, including something that we're going to talk about on the show a little later today. So here's a little secret about a magical life. A truly magical life is created with intention and the right mindsets and this, a daily dedication You have got to be dedicated to showing up for yourself every day to create the life that is in your mind and in your heart. You owe this to yourself. And I'm going to share a couple tips with you for that here in the show today. But I really want you to think about that because for some people, it's one thing. Like I said, it's different for everybody. For other people, it might be something completely different than it is for you. And so I encourage you to just take a piece of paper or your journal and write down some things that can help you with setting the intentions and showing up for yourself every day to create the magic that you want to feel in your life. How you experience your life is determined by your own thoughts, perceptions, and actions. Now, you might have heard of the saying, perception is reality. This could not be more spot on, and especially when it comes to the way we're experiencing our life. It is absolutely true that what your brain seeks evidence for, it will find. (laughs) Have you ever experienced that before, where you realize kind of after the fact that, oh, yeah, I guess I sort of found that because I was kind of on the lookout for it, right? What you seek is what you will find, and it is so True. So I want to encourage you to seek the things that feel magical. If you see your life as a beautiful, magical world full of love, abundance, opportunities, that's what's going to fill your world. That's what you're going to find all kinds of evidence for because you're on the lookout for it, because your eyes are open and because you're showing up for it. So if you're not seeing your life in that way now, Just take some time to work on shifting your view to see those things more clearly and look for the evidence that supports how you'd like to see your life. And most importantly, look for the evidence that supports how you want to feel in your life. Look for evidence that supports you in seeing yourself as the amazing, capable person that you are. Because I promise you, when you shift to look for these things, you will find them. You will absolutely find them. When you are looking for evidence of things for certain, whatever it is that you want to prove, you will find that evidence. And by the way, on the flip side, the same works for anything negative. And we all know people who are always on the lookout for evidence of negative things or evidence of opinions that may not really be based on fact, (laughs) but they find the evidence anyway, so they're convinced it's fact, right? It works both ways. So just be mindful about what it is that you're opening your eyes to and what it is that you're seeking in your life and seek those things that make you feel great and support you in where you want to head. Coming up with a personalized combination of supportive outlooks like this and habits that support you in your magic will create a massive shift in the way you experience your life. And I promise you, if you do this and you do this work, you will feel it in your core. I have actually felt this in my core many times because this isn't something that once you get into this groove, once you get into this magical space, 
that stays 24 seven all the time. It does become a habit and there are a lot of foundational elements to it that become habits, but like all habits, we can kind of fall out of them and you'll know energetically when you are not showing up for seeking the things that you want to feel and you want to experience. You'll know in your gut when you're not showing up as the best version of you for your life, right? And that's when you apply some of the things that you know work to lift you back into that space, to lift you up and help you feel the way you want to feel and get to where you want to be, right? So follow that shift within your soul and follow staying on track as much as you can with the practices that help you feel the way you want to feel and experience life in a magical way. So one of those practices could be a daily gratitude journal, right? Writing down just a few things you're grateful for every day. And by the way, you don't necessarily have to write them down. Sometimes I'll just lay in bed and I'll make a list in my mind of a few things I'm grateful for. And that's how I'll start my morning. And it just sets the energy right. There are even apps that you can get on your phone for keeping gratitude lists, right? So I encourage you to start that if you're not doing it already. You can also write down your top three daily goals to help keep you focused. And then you can also write down goals or just go through them in your mind of things that you'd like to do to help bring value and love into your relationships, to bring more value and love into the work that you do in the world. And absolutely making self-care and self-love priorities in your life like you really mean it. You have to take care of you first before you can be at your best for everybody else. And if I had to pick one thing that was the number one key to creating a magical life, it would be putting your needs and your self-care and your goals and dreams first. Because when you do this, first of all, you will be happier for sure and more joyful but you will also elevate your energy. People will notice, people will start complimenting how great your energy seems or how good you look, but they can't put their finger on it, right? Because your eyes are sparkling, right? Who doesn't like that feeling that goes along with a day when your eyes are sparkling, right? You know what I'm talking about? It's like you're in that zone, you're in your element. This is what gets you there, taking care of yourself. And I know it's tempting to put other people first, especially if you've got kids, right? And sometimes you feel like you have to, but there are always ways to create shifts, to do a little something for yourself, to support yourself. And then maybe later on, after you take care of some priorities there, carve out time intentionally for yourself, for what lifts you up and brings your light, what makes you feel like your light is back, right? Carving out time for those things is so important. This is how we create the magic, my friends. Here is one more, and this is super, super important. This is a habit that you can create, and I encourage you to work on this starting tomorrow morning. Each and every morning, take a minute to ask yourself how you want to feel that day and then intentionally build your day around that. Because most of us are not in the habit of really tuning into how we want to feel. But at the end of the day, life and everything we do with it is all about how we want to feel, the feelings that we want to experience. So being mindful of that and zeroing in on it, on that purpose is so, so big. We always have the power to take control and create big positive change at any time. And that is such a beautiful thing. And it really starts with tuning into what's my goal today or what's my goal with this project or with this thing I'm doing or with this relationship. Well, the goal is always how you want to feel ultimately. So tuning into that, tapping into the feeling, and then starting from there and planning your day around that, planning your goals around that, planning your life around that is such a powerful way to go about things. And it will create a massive shift in your life. So start that tomorrow morning. Each morning, create the habit of asking yourself, how do I want to feel today? And then plan your day around that. Plan your to-do list around that. Keep your eye on the target and it will change your life in incredible ways. All right, friends, now it is time for the part of the show called Joy School Habits, where I share a small habit you can create that has a super positive payoff. 
Now, I just shared one with you, but here's another one for this show. For this week's habit, if you don't already, I want you to add music to your mornings. There are multiple studies that show how great music can be for our energy and our mental health. Music has the power to help us get into a positive mindset. It can help reduce anxiety. It can lift spirits. It can empower us to take on what's in front of us. So what better time to deliberately add music to your day than in the mornings, right? I listen to music almost every morning and I change it up. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a dance party. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a little reggae. Sometimes I'm in the mood just to chill. And it's also great for the evenings too. My husband and I have started listening to music in the evenings before bed instead of watching TV, and it's made such a difference. We really enjoy that time. We'll just lay there and unwind, listen to some great music, and do Wordle or play Scrabble (laughs) and just listen to some really, really good tunes. And it's such great energy to go to sleep after. It just is good vibes all around. So What kind of music you need for the energy you want to create is personal for everybody. And you just need to tune into that moment and kind of ask your soul what you're feeling, right? It's different for each person. But I thought I'd share a couple of artists that I personally love that you might want to check out. So I'm a big fan of Pandora. In fact, you can find this podcast on Pandora as one of many platforms that carry it. And I love creating stations based on artists that I love and then discovering new artists and music that are similar to those artists. And that's one of the things that I love about Pandora. When you create a station on there based around an artist, they throw in a whole bunch of other music similar to that artist that you might enjoy. And I've discovered so many talented artists that way. So lately in the mornings and sometimes in the evenings, I've been loving listening to Londrell. And if you're not familiar with Londrell, he spells his name L-O-N-D-R-E-L-L-E. And he is just an amazing artist. I discovered recently when he played an event at the Chopra Center. And his music is the most incredible healing blend of jazz, soul, and soulful affirmations and meditations. And the station for him on Pandora plays a bunch of similarly uplifting, empowering artists that just have the best vibe. Vibes. So, so good. So I encourage you to go check out Londrell. It's also great music to just sit and relax at the end of the day and have a glass of wine or a cup of tea and just listen to the words and the affirmations. So beautiful. So great for putting your mind in the right place. So when I need to move or dance or when I just want to get my energy up, I also love listening to Lizzo and the Lizzo station on Pandora is fantastic. They throw in a bunch of other artists in there with great tunes and I will turn this on before teaching a class or before going to a meeting or before even recording a podcast to help bring my energy up and get my mind in the right place. Gotta love Lizzo. She's fantastic. Love following her on Instagram too. She's just so positive and love the freedom that she evokes in her spirit. She's just a beautiful soul. So, and she's got great tunes as well. All right, my friends, that's a wrap for this week's episode. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I am so glad you're back with me this season and I'm just sending you so much love and good energy. If you enjoyed this episode, I'd be so grateful if you'd leave a review over on Apple Podcasts. That is how you can help the show reach more people who might also enjoy it. And I do read them all. And thank you to those who left a review for last season. I really appreciate it. Be sure to connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and especially Instagram. I'm on there quite a bit, and I do run all my own social media. Love hearing from you. And you can visit my website, christylingspencer.com, where you can download some free gifts, including my free workshop on 11 Habits of the Happiest People. And you can find some other supportive resources I've got for you there as well. Sending you tons of love. And until next time, remember, you've got what it takes to create more amazing days. And more amazing days make up a pretty amazing life. Have an incredible week, my friends, and I will see you soon. Cheers.